RMJ movie reviews back again, folks. Oh man, I got I got this is an on the fly movie review. I, I didn't even plan on actually reviewing this on my page, but what the heck? I might as well do it. Oh my god, y'all. I just saw Captain America Civil War. Oh man, let me just get straight into this, man. Where can I start with this thing? Okay. I can't do this review without not talking about Batman v Superman. We just have to do that. I mean, we already know all the gossip about how one was trying to get out before the other and blah, 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 blah. And, and the, the IMDb boys and the critics and all of us are, are saying whatever. But let me just start this off and say, uh... <laughs> I'm laughing about this because you are you all already know what I'm going to say. I mean, in comparing the two, here's my thing. I'm one of the defenders of Batman versus Superman. And when I say I'm a defender, I'm simply saying that from my perspective, I was entertained by the movie. Now, I'm also entertained by uh, cops. You know, I'm also entertained by the TV show Jail when people are drunk. I'm also entertained by World Star Video. You know, of uh, meth addicts tweaking on camera. You know, and those aren't good things to be entertained by. But you guys get my point. <laughs> uh, in retrospect, thinking about it, Batman v Superman is not good. But I was entertained by it. I was entertained that at 34 years old, I finally got to see a movie that me and my friends used to talk about on the playground when we were kids, you know. When, you know, Batman 89 had come out and the Christopher Reeve movies had already been done, all four of them. You know, we would talk about those kind of movies. So in terms of actually being able to see Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman on screen, I was entertained by Dawn of Justice. Not because I actually so much thought it was good, but I was entertained by the film. Captain America Civil War is great. It's great. Um... And comparing which one is better, I mean, I think I just answered that, but uh, there, there is no competition here. This is a, a, I mean, Marvel is kicking, excuse my language, but royal ass here. I mean, this is a blowout. It, when you compare Batman v Superman and Captain America Civil War, it's a blowout. It is an absolute blowout. Um, this is, I, I'm trying to think. There's no comparison here. This is a blowout. Captain America Civil War destroys, destroys Batman v Superman on absolutely every level. About the only thing that I could probably say might be better about Batman v Superman, if that's quite possible, would probably be that Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill uh, I'd say in terms of physical fitness, their bodies were uh, much more beefier and cut and muscular than Chris Evans and Robert Downey and Don Cheadle and all the other guys in this one. That's about the only thing I can say it's better about it. <laughs> and it's not talking about the quality of the movie. This movie's great. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, I've heard people saying this is the best Marvel movie, blah, 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 blah. Um, I've missed two Marvel movies. I did not see Thor 2, and I did, I did not see Guardians. But other than that, I've seen them all. Um, I'll just say this. Uh, I like this better than The Avengers, and I like this better than The, Avenger, the Avengers Age of Ultron. Um, out the Captain America movies, uh, this, is, this is the best one. I mean, uh, Captain America, the first one, I, it was okay. I didn't particularly care for it. Winter Soldier was awesome. That was just great. And this is the, just the best out of the three. Um, it, 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 this movie's great. It's great. It's, it's a 10 out of 10. I love it. I highly enjoyed it. Just the story. And it's a plausible... Within the Marvel Universe, it's a plausible story. Now, they say this movie's, I think, two hours and 25 minutes. I didn't particularly feel it. And I've heard people say that they felt like it dragged or plotted. I have no idea what you people are talking about. You just don't have any patience. Because there has to be character development. I mean, I don't want, uh, you know, Age of Extinction type of stuff. You know what I mean? I like the character development. I was involved with the scenes. I was involved with the story. 
There's some good twists here. There's one twist, and I'm not going to give away none of the secrets, no spoilers, none of that. But there was a good twist here that um, really put a cap on why, uh, well, completed this aspect of the Civil War uh, part of the story. It was plausible. It, it, it just made sense while they were fighting. As in, when you look at Batman v Superman... It, you know, as much as as much as they try, it really just felt like a gimmick movie. And this is where Marvel is ahead of the game. I use the analogy of when you're in college and you take months and months and months to write a, a 20 page paper, right? You spend your time planning it. You get your research, you get your facts, you plot it out, and then you go in there, you write it, you tweak it, you get it all, and it's planned. You got an A-plus paper. But if you write that sucker the night before it's due, you get a C-minus. The C-minus would be Bat Batman v Superman. You're trying to cram the Justice League into the two-and-a-half-hour movie. Marvel has had I don't know how many movies. Marvel is killing it. I, I, I will say... In terms of just whoever, whoever runs Marvel, whoever owns Marvel, whoever is the president or whoever, whoever owns it and makes the decisions, let me tell you, this person is going to get a huge salary increase because this movie is perfect. It's perfect from top to, I mean, I just told you the story is great. The acting is great. Let me tell you, oh man, I just really, I, now here's the thing. I've liked most of the Marvel movies, you know, the ones from from Iron Man up. You know, I, I liked pretty much all of them. And I even uh, I saw something on IMDb where people were talking about uh, the Edward Norton Incredible Hulk movie. Hulk is one of my favorite superheroes from Marvel, uh, Spider-Man being number one. Um, and I feel that film is very underappreciated, underrated. I was kind of disappointed when it came out because I remember I used to work in the theater and I was really trying to push the customers to see Hulk and... You know, it kind of, it, it, it did okay, but it, you know, I think it's the lowest grossing. And I was just always disappointed because I, I felt that was a, a really good film. Much better than Hulk 03. But, um, goodness, I digressed a little bit there. Um, I've, been, I've liked all the Marvels movies. I thought they were all good, you know. Uh, I don't think the Avengers is great. Uh, I don't think 2 is great. But I, re I really liked them. So I've liked the Marvel movies, you know what I mean? This movie right here, I loved. I love this movie. Let me tell you, I've heard some reviewers on the internet talk about how, um, oh man, I don't even know where to start. My mind is like scrambling. It, it, I just really love this thing. Man, let me tell you. Okay, so the first half of the movie was just kind of like a repeat of Winter Soldier. You know, I was kind of like, uh, okay, I'm. this pretty much feels like Winter Soldier. Okay, and let me tell y'all, when it got to the second and third act, it just took a gigantic U-turn. And I mean a U-turn for the better. See, that's the problem. Like when you look at some summer blockbuster or action movies or whatever, they kind of go like this. They kind they start here and then they just go like that. Ah, no, 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 no. Captain America Civil War starts here and it goes here and it goes here and it just keeps going to the stratosphere. I mean, this movie was great. And I think I've seen that most of the reviewers are talking about where it took that U-turn for the better. And that, my friends, is when Mr. Spider-Man himself enters the movie. Let me tell you guys, when Marvel took this guy back, yes! Spider-Man is my favorite, 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 favorite favorite superhero oh man let me tell you it, it was great and i have an issue i heard another youtuber who does movie reviews say that marissa tomei playing aunt may i don't really quite know how i feel about that because you know like this other guy was saying i'm kind of quoting this other reviewer that i feel the same way you know aunt may to me has always been aunt may from spider-man and his amazing friends you know the white hair with the peter and, and the little the little puppy that she had on spider-man and his amazing friends so the fact that you've got marissa tomei who's hot who's a milf i don't really quite know how i feel about that either so my man you know who i'm talking about you did it you you said that in your review i feel say i don't know quite how i feel about that i feel quite torn and disgusted because you know uh Mar marissa tomei um i'd uh save america 
But um, and I know I have a friend digressing. I have a friend who's uh, an actress in New York who did some work with her and said she's like mad cool. Said she's a really nice woman. But um, oh my god, y'all. And then Mr. Ant-Man, Paul Rudd himself is in this. What's great about this is Marvel, it wasn't like Batman v Superman where you use a computer screen and you're clicking and dragging. Hey, the Flash, oh, Cyborg, blah, 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 and it's crammed in there. This is perfectly planned. Everybody had their own movie. It flows together. They bring in the little trinkets, and they're still leaving little nuggets and sprinkles of little stories. They, they haven't forgotten about the other Marvel movies. There's still references to the Hulk. There's references to Thor. It just doesn't stop. It's all perfectly woven together. It is, oh man, this movie is great. Let me tell you, y'all, that airport battle, it, 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 I've lost my mind when Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. was chilling at Spider-Man's house. I just, look, Iron Man was sitting on the couch without me, and Spider-Man came, oh my god, I just lost it. And when, and when Robert Downey Jr. was like, dit, 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 and then you can see Spider-Man swinging around, and he was like, so what do you call yourself, um, Spider-Guy? I like, I went crazy! Oh, then the best part is like I was saying that final that it's not the final battle but the battle at the airport it was like the wild wild west in a comic book movie y'all you got and it shows it in the previews where they all run together like that like in the Matrix uh, Revolutions when uh, Agent Smith and Neo ran at each other it's, it's all of them doing that man you got Iron Man you got, I, I can't even remember the dude's name, Vision, the purple dude. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Scarlett Johansson. You got her and Spider-Man and the camera, they're all together. And then you see Captain America and you see Ant-Man. Oh, it was this, and the dude Panther. That dude, this movie was crazy. I loved it. I loved it. I, man, just the fact that you had Black Panther, which I don't know nothing about that dude, but he's just raw. You got Spider-Man. You got Paul Rudd, Ant-Man, Captain America. You got the Don Cheeto in the other suit. You got Black Widow. You got Hawkeye. And you got Iron Man. And they're all for this. And the other, Anthony Mackie with the wings. Oh, it was crazy. I could not contain myself in the theater, people. I couldn't contain myself. Listen, I was going rabbit crazy, man. I was just doing this the whole time. Like, I was like convulsing. Let me tell you, if I ever see a movie with, if Hugh Jackman would have showed up, I probably would have had a heart attack right there in the theater and died. I probably would have been like, <laughs> and just died. I mean, it, oh. I love this movie. And this airport battle, it's just worth the price of admission to see all of the, and this is what I can't wait. I don't know where they go from here. That's the thing that's nuts. What I love is that the story is good and all the things that happen with the characters are earned. Not like, spoiler, Superman dying in Batman v Superman, which was total BS and it wasn't even earned. Everything that happens with every character in this movie is earned. We know these guys like the back of our head, and that's the reason Batman v Superman didn't work. We're meeting a new, I mean, you just, you can't cram it. It has to be planned. Marvel, you guys get an A+. Plus. You satisfied the fans. Next movie, I'm in. You got my cash already. I'll go see this thing again to the theater. I'm not one of those people that believes in pirating movies because I'm a firm believer in you have to see films in the theater. I think watching it at home, I don't care. Flat screen is not the theater with the big screen and the popcorn and the audience. I think it robs the movie of the experience, you know? And there's nothing like when you look at it at a projector in a real movie theater. I just love this movie. I loved it. it, it and I tell you, and I'm going to digress. The smartest thing Marvel did was when they hired Robert Downey Jr. on that first Iron Man movie. That was the most brilliant, brilliant, and that's what I love about them. They hired character, character actors to play this material seriously. But what I like is it doesn't play it 
So see, and I have no problem with Batman v Superman being dark. It was just that it, it it just was just poorly put together. That's just the big problem with that movie, you know. So I don't have a problem with dark, but you just got the perfect mix here, man. It's well balanced. I mean, I, to me, I was already in in the movie and thought it was good, but that airport battle with everybody included, I, I mean, it, everybody got their moment. And the fact, every time Spider-Man was on screen, I was losing my mind. I was literally like those women screaming in the audience in one of the Magic Mike movies. Like, I, I was just, I couldn't contain myself. I'm just, you know, I was losing it. This is fantastic. It's, it's a fantastic movie. 10 plus, 10 plus, 10 plus, 10 plus. If you like Marvel movies, if you like superhero movies, this is in Marvel... Oh man, the, I honestly don't know where they're going to go from here because the awesomeness of this movie is insane. And in terms of the action, you get a good combination. The fist, you get fist to fist combat, good technique. Then you get the CGI superhero stuff and it weaves together. Um, slight negative. Uh, as far as the stuff about too much dialogue and it's too long, I don't know what the people talking about. That didn't bother me. I just thought the length and the pace and the story, I thought all that was fine. My only minor complaint would be, I don't know what it is with this kind of tiny shaky cam thing. Where it's like, it looks like the, 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 like the shutter of the camera. I think it's the shutter speed. Is I, I don't know what it is that you, they, it slows down to make the image look quicker. I think it's something like that, but it gives it like this weird kind of shaky cam look. They don't need to do that. I wish they'd stop and not do that ever again, but you know, hey, I'm a peon, so my opinion doesn't matter. Marvel has already made their 200 million because this movie's fantastic, but I really just wish they wouldn't do that because a prime example, the scene when they all charge each other at the airport, you just let them just do it. And, and the other shot I really love is the scene where Iron Man is fighting Winter Soldier and fighting Captain America. And you just see that one shot where Iron Man is kind of doing that and they're going at it. Badass shot. And all you need to do is let the camera sit there and the body movement and the technique takes over. You don't have to do this shutter speed and speed up. I, I don't know why they do that. I wish they'd stop, but that's my only minor complaint. Thank God in the second half of the movie, they don't do it anymore. So, you know, Russo Brothers, if you haven't seen my review, not a complaint. I'm just a peon. I'm just a fan, whatever. But just please don't do that with the fights anymore. Just please just sit the camera there and let everybody do their thing. But minor complaint, it's great. Captain America Civil War is great. I loved it. Um, I can probably say... This is my favorite Marvel movie. My favorite Marvel movie. I like the other ones. I loved Captain America Civil War. It's... Oh, man. When they bring Hulk back into the mix, and when they bring Thor back into the mix, with Spider-Man, with Ant-Man, with Panther, with Iron Man, with Captain America, I'm telling you, Marvel has reset the game. Eventually, eventually, 20th Century Fox, who owns X-Men, they're, they're, they're going to have to fold. They're going to have to fold. X-Men Apocalypse might be good, but it's not going to make as much money as this movie. Marvel is blowing out the competition. They are the undisputed champs. I don't know if Marvel's going to go down. They might one day, but right now they are supreme. They are the champs. They are the LeBron James of comic book movies. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel and share the video. And leave your comments down below about the Marvel movies. What your least favorite was the ones you didn't like. What you didn't like about this. Whatever. What, let's just talk about... Captain America Civil War. This is absolutely fantastic comic book filmmaking. It's it's great. It's great. It's great. It is great. Go see it if you love these movies. RMJ Movie Reviews. I will be back with my raunchy comedy movie review. And I will see you folks soon.